Hey YouTube, Patrick here. So let's talk about overhead cameras and specifically about this. So you're in a situation where you want to draw the attention away from your face onto the things that you're doing with your hands. And one easy way to do that is to use an overhead camera. Now, I use this DSLR to do my live streams on Twitch, but I'm not going to buy another one just to get the overhead view. But then again, I kind of want it to look nice. So here's what I did. So first I bought a cheap ring light with a gooseneck from eBay for like, I don't know, 15 bucks. And then after that, I bought the Logitech Stream Cam that can do 1080p at 60 FPS. But uh, do note that the Stream Cam actually requires USB 3.1 to actually utilize that 60 FPS at full HD. And it also uses the USB-C connector, so check for that. Uh, but we'll be returning to that point a bit later in the video. So I grabbed my trusty calipers, I took some measurements of both the ring light and the webcam, and I turned a simple idea into this in Blender. So it's basically an adapter that attaches firmly to the webcam on one side and to the ring light on the other. And after I was happy with the design itself, I actually ventured to my local library, where they have 3D printers available for the public to use. And after three hours, basically I had the part ready, and I stripped off the support material and snapped this whole contraption together. So now I have a somewhat portable 1080p at 60 overhead cam that I can clamp pretty much anywhere. The ring light has a remote in the cord, where you have 10 luminosity levels and 3 color temperatures to choose from. And I think you can immediately notice the difference in sharpness with the improved lighting conditions. If you want to try this setup for yourself, and you or a friend has access to a 3D printer, I have provided a link for Thingiverse, where you can actually download the STL file for the bracket and get it printed. As I mentioned before, you can get the ring light for really cheap from places like eBay and Amazon. Just basically do a search for a small ring light, and as soon as you find the ones with the clamp and the secondary gooseneck arm for the phone, you basically found the right ones. The actual product names may vary just a bit, but they're all essentially the same product. Uh, if you noticed a small gap between the adapter and the webcam, uh, do not worry. That was a prototype print that I did, and I have adjusted the Thingiverse file to fit the camera more tightly, even though the mounting was very firm before it. Okay, so let's talk about two things that you need to know about the Logitech Streamcam camera. Basically, one, the automatic reorientation. So Logitech has baked into the camera's firmware this feature that does like automatic reorientation. So if you turn the camera, the camera automatically reorients itself based on how it's oriented. And yeah, this is good for ease of use, but not so good for overhead camera use. So here's the camera clamped into the same disc that it is filming. And with a bit of a thump, I can mess up the orientation until the shaking resides. This can be avoided by either clamping the camera to a separate solid structure or angling the camera slightly, as I've done here. And you can see that it no longer flips out from the bumps. Uh, at the time of recording, Logitech is yet to provide any way of locking the orientation, but this is completely a software-related issue, so technically it can be fixed with a software update. So, on to the second point, uh, USB 3.1. So Logitech Streamcam has a relatively short cord, it's like one and a half meters or roughly five feet. And this limits the range of motion for a movable camera quite a bit. And so in order to mitigate this issue, I actually bought a two meter USB 3.0 extension cord and a USB-C to USB-A adapter to give it a bit more breathing room. And actually it worked flawlessly without any problems in the video signal, which was great. Okay, so let's wrap up a few key points here. So basically, gooseneck ring lights are awesome. Uh, 3D printing is awesome. The Logitech Streamcam has the auto orientation issue, you gotta keep in mind. And you can convert the USB-C to a USB-A and even extend it by a few meters with no problems, as long as it's connected to a USB 3.1 on the PC. 
And basically all of these were tested on my Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master. So that's it guys. All the related links are in the description. I hope this helped with your overhead camera setup. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.